I'm not going to depict a utopia in any detail as it might emerge on Earth. I think that the place that we're going is a place that we cannot see from where we are. It'll only emerge or become visible as we move toward it. But so I'm not going to say, OK, you know, here's the blueprint for the future system. I've thought it all out, you know, and now I'm going to tell you what it is. But I, I do catch glimpses sometimes, you know, uh, these experiences that feel like they're from the future almost. One thing that comes to me is that in the future, most of the time, the loudest sounds you will hear are the sounds of birds singing and children playing. Maybe there won't be internal combustion engines. I don't know. But that's, that's part of it. Um, in the future, we'll feel really at home in the world. We will be intimately familiar with the landscape around us. We will be so in love with the places that we live that we will only take a journey when the urge to journey is really strong upon us, as happens at certain key moments in life. We will be in rich communities where we know every face so intimately, so deeply, where it's normal to just stand and, you know, be in eye contact or sharing a breath as the Maori do for maybe, you know, minutes at a time. Like the best experiences you've had in your life, the most authentic, the most vibrant, those don't have to be exceptions. It's not like we're going to be all the time, like in some deep meditative trance, you know, like having some special moment. But, but the backdrop of life will be play, love, beauty. Um, beauty, you know, like imagine what the world would be if everybody was a liberated artist. An artist of whatever they're doing in the world, not just the fine arts or, you know, kind of these decorations on top of capitalism. But no matter what you're doing, you don't do it just good enough for the market or good enough for the boss or good enough for the A+. Plus. But you do it as, as in fulfillment with what this thing wants to be. Whether you're an engineer or a musician or a gardener, like what's the most beautifully you can do this? Imagine our, our, our environment is surrounded by things, every single one of which was made by someone who loves making that thing. That's what the world could be. And it's not even that far away. Just a shift of perception away. Yeah.